I want to bring in Dakin Sloss, who um, has come all the way to us here from Stanford. Uh, we're a senior studying physics, mathematics, and philosophy. Um, he's interested in the philosophical underpinnings of quantum mechanics and alternative approaches to quantum theory. Um, but that stuff's simple. So now he, what he's doing is he's looking at something really complicated, the California governing system. Um, and he's the executive director of California Common Sense, which is a Stanford-based nonprofit using technology to open government finances to the public, engage citizens, and really catalyze a grassroots movement for more effective governance. Now, um, you're, so you're out there trying to get data and, and do things with it and provide it to the public in a way that makes sense. You know, someone who's trying to get the data, gather it and make it usable, how good are California, is California government at sort of releasing data and putting it out there also in a form that's most, you know, useful? Um, not the best. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of reticence um, to release information to nonprofits, to other organizations that are re release, uh, requesting information through public records requests and things like that, um, which is unfortunate because once the data is out there, it can be really helpful both for employees within government and for people outside of government that are trying to identify better ways we could be doing things. Um, but there are a lot of good people out there that are trying to release that data. Um, and as that data comes out, we make it available. Now you, I, I, somewhat recently, you asked the state of California, correct, for essentially how it spent its money, all its different expenditures of money. What, what did you Basically discover a, in that process? A checkbook uh, is what we were looking for, the California state checkbook. Um, and our request was denied after three or four months of going through this public records request process, which is quite a process, and if you don't actually have a uh, legal team behind you can get quite laborious, and even with a legal team, you quite often don't get what you want. But at the end of the day, they told us that we cannot have that information because it did not serve the public interest to disclose those records, which, as you can imagine, we thought was quite ironic. Uh, but basically, uh, it turns out California doesn't seem to keep track of individual expenditures at that level in some sort of electronic system. Their accounting system is 30 years old. Um, it's actually, I think it's in, it's in some really old language that I don't even know. Older um, than you. <laughs> and no, no one will be able to program or maintain it like five years from now. Um, so the data is not even being tracked in many cases in the way that it should be. And it's a real shame because it would be really useful to the people um, of California and the people who are maintaining the government and trying to make it work better. So what? What form, I mean, when you go do this, doing this work with, with California Common Sense, what, let's think about sort of an ideal, an improvement. What, what should be the standard when, when governments have data? I mean, what format should it be and how open, what, what would you like to see? My vision is that 10 years from now, every government in real time will be tracking everything that it's spending, everything that it's bringing in, what outcomes that's leading to, and that that will be streaming in real time up to servers that people outside of government and inside of government can slice and dice however they want and see it. So I, I have a pretty high standard. Is there any institution, government or non-government, that you've encountered that does that or comes, particularly one that comes closest to that? Um, no, it, it, it's a new way of thinking about how data is maintained by institutions. And there's obviously very interesting discussions about should corporations be held to those same standards as governments.